Hello guys, recently on Twitter I saw this tip by Osama about real-time download progress. And I thought to try it out in action, especially since that tweet got more than 200 likes. So I tried to reproduce it and I will show you the full code with Laravel Reverb. And this will be an interesting video, this is kind of what I learned myself and I'm showing to you on YouTube. But also I've learned that this simple snippet doesn't work exactly as it is shown and something was missing that I've learned from AI. I'm trying to be honest here, there are things that I don't have experience with and I'm still learning to this day. So here's the code and here's what I've learned. I found a random PDF file, this is the invoke method and this is the PDF which is 25 megs and that controller is called in the routes web post download. This is an invocable single action controller. Now, in the welcome blade, which is instead of default Laravel that empty homepage, some styling, download file, some divs, and then JavaScript, plain JavaScript without any framework. And this is the main thing, download button add event listener click, we do Axios post to that download route. Then that download file job in the queue, in this case I'm using sync driver for the queue, so we don't need to launch queues. This is where the actual snippet is used, so we're downloading file from PDF into our storage. For example, for downloading some images and then processing that somehow, this would be the use case. And then this is the main thing, event. So we're calculating the progress with HTTP option, which is actually guzzle option under the hood. And we fire the event that as Osama is saying, you can broadcast, you can display or handle however you like. So my version of however I like was Laravel reverb. And this is where we get back to the welcome blade. Here it is, window add event listener and echo channel. The channel name is important because it's the same as the download progress updated event. This is an event and we have the progress as integer passed from here calculated and then that event broadcast on download progress. This is the channel name and this is what we need to listen to in the window echo channel. So this is the channel name and this is the event name. Download progress updated corresponds to the event name, which is the class name here. Next, what happens? When we listen to that progress, we update the progress bars again with plain JavaScript and we show the numbers. And also we show the number in the console. Now, let me show you how it works with the initial snippet from Osama. So this is the initial page and I will show console as well. We click download file and it went to 100 and then goes back to zero and then starts the progress again from zero to the actual 100. So something here is happening even before downloading of the actual file is started. So the actual HTTP request works and the file is actually downloaded in the storage app public. We have that PDF here. Well, my cursor cannot open that, but anyway, PDF is here, so it works. But for some reason, it jumps to 100 too quickly. And this is where I asked cursor to help. And this is what it suggested. In the same with option progress, these two things appeared. First, we don't broadcast if the progress is 100, which happens almost immediately in the first like second or so. So we return. Otherwise, if downloaded bytes is bigger than zero, then download started is true, which also adds a private boolean variable property here. And now if we try that out, I refresh the page, we we'll click download file, and nothing is happening in the very beginning, so progress starts from zero, and there's no jump to 100 initially. So it fixed the inconsistency. But I was curious about the reason. What is that part that starts actually before downloading the file? And this was my prompt asking cursor and the problem basically goes to this file. HTTP client considers initial metadata or headers as downloaded content. So some stuff was downloaded before the actual file like handshake in HTTP protocol and HTTP client consider that as downloaded. So that's why it jumped to 100 initially. So this is the explanation. I'm not sure maybe there's other way, maybe there's syntax or option in HTTP client to avoid this. We can discuss in the comment below if you know another solution. So here's a thing which I've learned from AI, which I'm passing to you guys. In this case, I'm a messenger in this video. Interesting feeling. But anyway, that code works. So kudos to Osama Karma points to him for sharing that initial tip.
so it does work and you can pass the progress to a Laravel reverb which would show it on the front end. And if you haven't worked with Laravel Reverb previously, one of our courses on Laravel Daily is about Laravel Reverb, which we released as soon as it was released, but also had to update to newer Laravel versions because the syntax have changed a little. And also there was anonymous broadcasting added a bit later. So four practical examples of Reverb with live updates on your page. And I will link that course in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.